Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. We'll let, we'll, we'll let them build that one. So we want refined materials. What I'm thinking is that we want the refined metals so that we... Let's, let's have a look at you right here. Copper ore to copper. That produces pure copper. Obsidian to sand. Sedimentary rock to sand. Sandstone to sand. Obsidian to sand. I can make lots of sand. We have loads of sand in the rock crusher, which we actually we use loads. Of, we consume sand in the water sieve. Right there. That one consumes sand. So the next thing I want to do is I want to actually be able to purify the water and remove the germs from this water in here. That's another thing that I need to do, along with crushing all of this. Right, they're all going to rush off to bed for a minute. And yes, I have just started a new recording session. And I'm telling you this because I've been told what I need to do to get the germs out of the water because I thought that it was the water purification here but that is not enough to purify the water properly. What we also need to do is we need to go into the research and there is another section in here that we use. Ice maker. There is another thing in here that we can use for actually purifying the water. Uh, just need to go through and find it a second. Uh, I'm looking around, I don't actually see it. There is a thing that will allow you eventually to use uh, chlorine to purify water and kill off any of the germs that are in the water. But I don't know where that is. I've got water sieve right there, which is something that we... It produces polluted dirt. Ethanol distiller, canister emptier, and then we've got improved plumbing, liquid shutoffs and things like that. We've got the filters... As uh, sink removes germs from duplicants, and then that does germs. But where the bit that... Oh, wait. No, it converts rust into oxygen and chlorine. And then desalinator removes salt and brine from salt water producing water. Ore scrubber. Some um, raw ore. There is a thing somewhere, apparently, that uses chlorine to clean water. But I, I don't know where that one is. I, I can't find that one at the moment. It's It's got to be... I've, I've obviously missed it somewhere. I'm just not quite sure where I've gone and missed it. So um, that one is a thing that is available. There's, there's other things that I've been told that I can be doing as well that I'm not currently doing. So there's, there's uh, more bits that I need to be working on. I need to be putting in more decorations, apparently, and get those around the place so that uh, it looks better for the duplicates that we've got in here. At the moment, i got the algae distiller, which refines slime into algae. We've got the ethanol, which turns lumber into ethanol. Got rock crusher uh, produces refined materials from raw resource, uh, re resources. Uh, uses polluted water to produce fertilizer. Got the water sieve, which produces clean water from polluted water. So, I'm assuming that this here is actually clean water, but it's got food poisoning in it. That's That in there is polluted water, and that is water, despite the germs that are in it. So, it pulls... Like, it, it doesn't actually remove the germs from it, but I don't see where the bit is for cleaning up the actual water. That's the bit that I'm missing. We've got... The, it's not in refinement. There is this thing that I'm missing, and I, I have absolutely no clue where it is. And this is disappointing. I'm, I'm, I'm very disappointed with this. Uh, but we'll, we'll have to leave it running for a minute. Now, the other thing that I was told that I should be doing is I need to slightly change the way that I'm doing power... Because what I'm doing, what I've got wrong at the moment, hang on, I want to go to power in here, and we want to take wire, and we want to put wire up here like this, and connect that one in there, so that I've got wire. The other thing that I should be doing is, under power, I've now got, we've got wood burner, hydrogen generator, which is what is going to be using up there. Uh, natural gas converts natural gas into electric power. That's fantastic. Uh, we're also going to want the, where are they, jump over, power transformer. Limits power flowing through the transformer to 1,000 watts. So what we do is we have a big wire that comes up through here, and then each level we put individual wires 
going out that are being used on the different levels to 1000 watts and that then like we can use the big wires where we need to and we don't have to have the um small wires going absolutely everywhere and sort of being used up on everything as well so is something that we want to work towards being able to do I don't quite know when we're going to do it yet. Now, you over here, no gas intake for hydrogen. So I've got the wiring done up there. I then need to do the ventilation. We need to do a gas pump, which draws in gas. That one needs to go up here next to that one like that. And then we want to do a gas pipe from there, which will go... So output pipe from that one goes along and straight into there. I don't need to worry about putting it un in underneath or anything like that. So that will join those two together and that will draw hydrogen into there. Now I don't know if I should be doing that as a set filter. I mean it's pure hydrogen that I've got up in this environment up here. Um, oxygen goes underneath the um, hydrogen and then the carbon dioxide that's further down here. This is all carbon dioxide down here completely unbreathable so it all of it kind of like balances out we, we've got these different layers of gas i don't know where the chlorine gas will come into it oh wait i got one more bit that i got to do in there we need some more power we want wire and that needs to go out over here and up into that one like that now the power that's coming up through here i want that to be the big uh, power line. Where have I got power lines at the moment? Oh, I don't think I've got the big power lines at all. I think I've got pipe. Yeah, I've got those pipes up behind that ladder. So I don't have the bigger stuff up here yet. And then the rest of our dudes, they're running around doing other jobs right now. Uh, there was something else that I was told I needed to do. I needed to have a particular... Um, like a set ingredients and storage for ingredients and making sure that I've got the right things being used in the right places. I'm not quite sure where that was. But anyway, we've got research complete right here. So we've got uh, large power transformers there available. Uh, next message, we've got the automated notifier and hammer. Okay, we've got some new technologies. We want to go into research. So we've got smart battery, jukebox, power control stations. This is extra power bits over here. Oil well and polymer press makes plastics. Valve miniaturization draws in a small amount of gas and runs it through pipes. Draws in a small amount of liquid. So we've got small bits going in there. We've got animal controls, incubator, fish trap, critter sensor ranching ranching in general does seem like it's something that we would be very grateful for the desalad the ore scrubber in particular i think would be a good one but it's liquid reservoir okay i'm looking for a machine that does it with chlorine gas such a machine does not exist you've actually got to think creatively and you've got to use it um use the chlorine and and do things with it um, to purify the water later on by using all of the automation and stuff like that that you can get. You get all kinds of sensors and advanced computing and, and, and just various things like that. Um, these are absolutely wonderful and they're amazing. They're not what I'm going to work on just yet, but I will do that. So we're going to want that to be able to have clean water coming in here. Um... So there's different ways that you can do it. You can heat the water up or you can use a chlorine. That's polluted oxygen in there. You can use a chlorine gas system and that will also purify the water. I'm not quite sure how you make it work at the moment, but that is one option that you can go for. I've got a rock crusher right there that we can go and do. We've got things here with our electric grill. Um... I've also got a list of ingredients somewhere that I can go to. Skills, priorities, consumables. If we go into here, um, I can tell them whether or not they can eat certain items. So like meat right here. Uncooked meat from a dead critter. Don't let them eat any uncooked meat. Uh, we've got that one right there. So this 
Can I, can I move you? I, I, I can't move it down, so it's not telling me what that is. Mush bar, that one. Uh, oh, muck root. Digging up, may uncover a muck root. Um, so the muck root, we got mush fry in here. Gristle berries, lice loaf, mushroom, gristle berry there, grilled bud of a bristle berry. So bristle berries there. If I tell them that they're not allowed to eat those, they will only be available when they've turned them into gristle berries. The grilled bud right there. So that one is morale zero. That is morale minus one if they eat the meat like that. But then if they have the barbecue, it's morale plus eight. Meal lice there, morale minus one. So we don't want to eat those. Nutrient bar, nourishing nutrient paste sandwich between thin wafer layers, morale minus one. A mush bar is morale minus one. Mush fry is zero. So they make those and they turn them into the mush fries. The muck root is morale minus one, and uh, meal lies compacted into a dense, immobile loaf. That would be great. Nutrient bar, nourishing nu uh, nourishing paste in here. You get used into various different things. So we're making that. Mushrooms, no. Lice loaf, there's meal lice. So what can I do with the nutrient bar? Nourishing nutrient paste. As in here, this, this, is that made in here? No, this, the lice loaf is made in here. Mush bars are made in here. Edible putrefied mud slop. Sure, I want that. Mush fry in there. That takes a mush bar and then it turns it into a mush fry. So that one is quality terrible. Consumables up this way. That is the mush bar. And it turns it into a mush fry. That's... Minus one morale if they eat that. And then you got the mush fry. So it turns into the mush fry. Um, and that's just made, that's made out of dirt. That That is those right there that they take dirt and water. They're not, they're not very nice. We, we don't really want to be making those. Lice loaf here takes meal lice and water. And then it makes it into a lice loaf. Which, where's the lice loaf? There, lice loaf. That is as high as that one will go. If I look in here, I don't have anything I can do. Meal lice. Pickled meal. Meal lice, regrettably preserved in vinegar. So I could take those. Meal lice. And we could turn those into that. That is grizzly. Now, where's the thingy on here? It's, it's not actually telling me on I guess it's because I haven't actually seen one yet, maybe? Is, is that why? I'm wondering if that's why. We've got mushroom there. Lice loaf, bristleberry, mush fry. I'm going to assume that's why. And muck roots. Muck root don't seem to... Like, gristleberry, fried mushroom, mush fries here. There's not a lot in here that's being requested. I, I, I need the meal lice. To make the pickled meal there, I need meal lice. So I don't want to make those berry sludge, mashed up bristle berry sludge with an exceptionally long life. And then in here, the gristle berry is the grilled bud of a bristle berry. That one is morale plus one, isn't it? Gristle berry, morale plus one. And then you in here with your berry sludge. That takes sleep wheat grain, but hang on, berry sludge. Mush bar, lice loaf, mushroom. That's not in here, but I'm waiting for sleep wheat grains for those. So I, I can't really do anything different with these, but this is what I was supposed to do. Is I was supposed to stop them from eating some of the raw ingredients here so that they only eat the better ingredients. Uh, we've got our various different priorities up that way. I've got you in here. Um, let's start this. I've now got that one is producing... Hydrogen. Uh, producing power, sorry. But it's also producing heat. It's also warming the place up a bit. So let's have a look at you right there. Contents, hydrogen. 2,000 gra... That's, that's, that's doing very nicely. It's uh, wattage, 800 watts. So it is producing power out of there. And then these are producing power. That's coming back into these batteries. So... Then what I want to do is I want to get the heavy-duty wiring and put into here. We also want to have bathrooms and lavatories set up for these guys. So that's another thing that I want to do. And I kind of need to start moving things around if I'm going to do that. Now, my biggest problem is that I've got water in here. It's clean. 
technically, but it's polluted water. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do with that. I got some clean water down there, but it's not all that clean, and that's the only water that I've got at the moment. And then I've got chlorine, and we've got other bits that we can explore out that we're going to need to explore out and uncover and get using. But these, like the germs here, there's ridiculous amounts of germs in some of these. So I'm kind of like, at, I, I'm, I'm at a point where I'm, I'm unsure exactly what I need to go doing. Now, power right in here. Conductive wire connects buildings to power sources, can be run through walls and tires. I need refined metals to be able to do that, and I don't have refined metals. The rock crusher doesn't give me refined metals, I don't believe. It does copper ore to copper, iron ore to iron. I don't think that counts as... Eggshell to nine, we can do granite. I can turn a lot of things into sand. Lots and lots of stuff into sand. I need to start moving things around so that we've got 1,000 watts in total on just a few different bits. So we're kind of like, well, first up, we want to go to power over here. We want to go to wire like this. So at the moment, I've got that wiring system there, which is coming down and then running these over here. So we've got... Potential power is 1.8 watts, a uh, kilowatts on that one lot of wire on there. I need to change that round. We need to have less than that on that wire. So what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to remove this wiring here. Actually, I want to remove that bit of wiring. So we'll break that apart. We will deconstruct that wiring there that but that bit's going to come apart and that i'm going to remove as well then i'm also going to dig that bit in there um i'm going to go back into power and wiring so that i will just have one set of wire that comes across here now the next thing that i want to do is i want to join these back together i actually want to make this bigger over here but I need an ore scrub. I need stuff that will clean the rocks and stuff like that. And that, in here, we need... An, I've got those building at the moment. I've got a plan for that. But then I want the ore scrubber. Ore scrubber kills a significant amount of germs present on raw ore. And then we've got the desalinator there. And I want to be able to use the... I need to be able to clean the slime as well. Like, germs are a big problem. We've got to be able to deal with germs on a major scale. So we've got to be we've got to have our medical equipment to be able to deal with germs. Um, so that's that's kind of a big thing. But then we can start converting slime. We, we can start converting slime over here into um useful items. But then you've also got to deal with the germs slime lung. And the disease slime lung, which is really, really not very good. So we want to go to the room overlay. I need a hospital. Quarantine sick duplicates in here. We've got a massage clinic there. Um, so I want to build a hospital. Medical equipment, toilet, mess table, no industrial machinery. Minimum 12, maximum 96. I don't know if gas and liquid movement between them is considered acceptable or not. Uh, with a hospital. I have absolutely no clue, but I would like to extend this out over on this side now. So that's going to be my next major project. We're going to go with a ladder first, and that ladder is going to go right up like this. I've got a bit of chlorine gas in there that will end up coming into it, and I've got chlorine gas up here that's going to end up coming into it, but there's something that I'm willing to live with. So we want to go up I can't go any. I can't go in there. Must be built in an unoccupied. What? Why can't I build it in there? I can build the ladder up there, up a little bit higher than that, and then I want to take the tiles here, and I want to run these through. I actually could do with these being the gas tiles. I mean, I suppose I've got the the gaps there where the ladder is. So I'm assuming that it's going to be all right by doing it where the ladder is. And I want to bring you over this way as well so we've got i've got nothing that's gonna hurt me on this at the moment we can dig that out i've got the chlorine in here it'll be interesting to see where the chlorine is gonna go there's 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 chlorine right there it's gonna be interesting to see where that goes in the 
levels of gas. Um, like we've got oxygen here, we've got the hydrogen floating at the top, and we've got the carbon dioxide floating down the bottom. So it's going to be quite interesting to see where these new bits go. So next up, I want to set out some digging. We want to go from there, and I want to dig out that whole square like that. Boom, like that. That whole lot needs to be dug out. So now I can allow them to sleep through the night. They've got a couple of jobs that they're going to need to do in the morning. I have now completely filled all of those storage bins. So I need to start doing stuff with that. Uh, one of those... Oh, plus I've got the power... Now, I've, I've gone and done that bit there with the power, and I've also got those bits over here. This is the big job that we're going to be doing over this side. So, I just want to pause a second again. I want to go back into the power and go to the wire over this side. Right. That wire down there. I didn't need the great big wire under there. That's, that's not essential, but um, it was just kind of seeing what it did. Is this, that's, that's basically what we ended up doing there. We were just kind of finding out what that wire did. Now, this wire here, I want to build you right the way along over to that point there. Uh, I want that battery to be moved. I want to join this together. No, I don't. I, I want to actually, before I start doing too much up there, I want to start removing and breaking some of these wires in here. There's other things that I wanted to do. I've got a deodorizer there. That doesn't need plugging into anything, does it? No. Um, power wire. I want to deconstruct all wiring that I've got in this room. Just to start with. Take rid of all of that. And get rid of that. That wiring there. That there. This down here doesn't need to be removed. That can stay where it is. Right. Allow them to go through. They're going to start removing all of these wires now. Very, very quickly and efficiently go through and... Okay, wires are gone. Excellent. Why haven't they removed those two wires there? I don't know why they haven't removed those two wires there, but it, do it doesn't matter. So next we want the heavy watt wire, and this needs to go... Wait, is that the heavy watt wire? That's, uh... Right, what have you got on here? You go to power, go to wire. You need to deconstruct. I've got wires on the ends of these that need to be deconstructed. Right, and I want to cancel that, cancel that. And then I want to deconstruct that bit of wire that's removed all of the wire from those locations. That's what we need him to do. Just just remove those few bits. They have done that now, haven't they? Yep. Right. So now I can take power. Heavy what what? Yes, look. Now, see they're unplugged now. That's that's what I wanted. So then I can go here. We will take the heavy watt wire and I will join those together. And I'll join these together as well. And that. Because this over this side, it doesn't need to be like joined together and made pretty. Uh, so I've got, that's going to be the heavy watt wire over there. And then we're going to bring heavy watt wire down this way as well. It's going to go that far there. Then we can look down here. We need a power transformer. Now this one allows for a certain level of power to go out through the wire. So if I've got this power transformer, I can put one here. And then I can take the wire from there and I can use it on various different levels. 
So the other thing that I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to join that one. Actually, that one can just... No, I want to join that into the rest of the system. So we're going to take that as heavy what... Well, no, I don't know if I can just upgrade the wire. It cannot be built inside. I think I could just upgrade that wire. So if I deconstruct... That like that. And I deconstruct down to there like that. And then I go back into power again and I take the heavy watt wire and we'll be able to run that in a straight line up the ladder up here once that is ready to be built. So then I can start joining these on on the different levels. So to start with, we'll put in a power transformer over here. I want to put one right there. Like that. And... That's going to allow that line there to be brought out. And then I want a power transformer here. Although that door there, I kind of want that. No, that actually that should be all right. To go through the door. I bring it out through the roof, I guess. Now I can go there and I don't think that's going to be in the way of anything. And then I'll do another one up here like this just for now. And then we take the heavy watt wire. And I'll run that through to that point. And I'll go up there. This heavy watt wire here can go up there. Does that want to go? That doesn't want to do that. Uh, cancel that. I don't want to do that. That's already joined into there. Uh, power. We want to take heavy watt wire over here. So I've got a transformer there. Which means that this one can go along the top over here. I don't know which side it drops into there. We'll have to wait until that one's built. And then we can decide where we put that one in. So I've got a couple of transformers coming out. They'll be ready. And then I'm also going to be bringing this wire here. Along this way, it's going to join into there. It's going to run down that ladder. And it's going to run along the top of that room there. Like that. Okay. Let's let them get through and get building all of this lot. Once they've got all of that in place, along with the transformers, we can then set the new wires in place to get the rest of it. Because at the moment, everything is switched off. i got no power going anywhere at the moment. So we need them to hurry up and build all of these bits and get all of these new bits wiring. There's the first transformer in. And he should very quickly go through and get the rest of these wires in place as well. Yes, good. That They are building the wires. That's good. And then you guys over here are building these wires along there and doing it very, very quickly and efficiently. And that bit's done. So now they're all going to come into here, and they're going to finish building all of the wires in this bit. Doesn't look very nice when they're doing all of the wires. Um, they don't like it, so they're going to want extra morale items around. We'll start spreading things out a bit more for them, so that it looks a lot neater and, um, a lot, a lot neater and tidier. But we need to get them to hurry up and finish building these wires first. If, they, if we can get all of those done, I don't know how long it's going to take them. You know what? Let's just stop that a second like that and then uh, wire over here. It doesn't matter which way round it goes by the look of it. Or does it? I've got that wire coming up there. Well, it looks like it goes in there and it comes out there. So that one wants to go down into here. I want to deconstruct that wire there. Well, unfortunately, that's all we've got time for for a little while. We need to let the replicants rest. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And I am just going to drag out this farewell just a tiny little bit. Just so that there is enough space and time on the screen to put up a couple lots of you absolutely wonderful supporters of the channel. You should be seeing some of your names coming up now. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.